What's up everybody, it's Nerp here, and today we are on the test server. Um, recording this when it's still in the time that uh, test server is public to even be without access, so that's why there's so many users online for me. Um, what I want to do today is tweak my night deck a little bit and play with it some more. I'm really enjoying the night stuff. Um, I really like the all the knights and and uh, gravelock stuff. I'm not really that into the growth stuff, like the pudding stuff. I haven't been doing that as much as knights and gravelocks. Also, um, whatever it's called, decay. I haven't been doing much with either with the undead stuff. It's really just knights and gravelocks with me. But um, so yeah, this is what I have been playing a bunch of matches with lately, and. So I've been looking at this new scroll of Vintage's Alec, which seems really strong. So far, it's been pretty awesome. Escalon Spires has also been pretty awesome, but it might be bugged out to make it too good right now. Fields of Strife, I think I'll have to take out one or two of those. It's not that great. Um, and first thing I noticed about this deck is there is no unit that's uh, less than four cost. And there's no skirmishers. Um, so it's no relentless. There's a lot of attack buffing with this new guy and stuff, but uh, so far it's been working pretty well, even against like really aggressive Gravelock decks, um, because once you get to four resources, you're going to have a creature almost every turn, and then um, they're strong creatures too, and this kind of really help each other out. But I am going to edit this right now, because I think I want to make some changes. I think I want a third Kabonk. Because you need something that you're able to do early in the game, like but before you get to four resources the first couple of turns, you need something to do, trying to hold them back. Like if you have a couple of bookabonks, that'd be awesome. Then you could just like destroy whatever your opponent puts down or like for veterans and stuff like that. It's a real inspiration, I've been testing it out. With only twenty one creatures in the deck, I basically have all the knights in it, besides uh, Aging Knight. And just sticking Aging Knight in here just because isn't that I think that'd just be that would be a little uh, stupid to do. Um, jump up from one cost creature to four cost creature, but so I decided to put two of these royal inspirations in. I think it's working well. It's basically just like another eye of eagle. It's pretty pretty much all it is. It's just two eye of eagles. So then I feel like there's more creatures in the deck. Um, Pothers. I mean, I really actually don't need those, but I don't know. So advantageous outlook. I definitely want. It's great. Um, almost like crimson bowls and stuff. It almost replaces fields of strife both of these spells i'm definitely going to keep in here i like the speed well sometimes i don't need versus being bush i don't think tempo theft i'm not sure if i need to keep in either uh i so i took out basically there's no like th like there's no two drop like infantryman no just really nothing um i think i might want a pushback or something This is, the deck's been working well so far. Um, what else do we want in this? Let's see. Maybe Waking Stones? I wouldn't mind Waking Stones. Um, Escalon Spires with Waking Stones is really strong. Extraction, Shrine. You know what? Infiltrate's not a bad scroll to put in this because you're not going to put any creatures down until turn 4 if you can do this on turn 3 and just slow them down. It's not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. You know, let's, let's bring in two of these. I was thinking about this, but it seems more like an aggro ish thing. Um, let's put a third real inspiration. But right now, we're going to run without waking stones. Okay, let's see what we have here. I have 54 scrolls. Okay, I like all of these. I'm going to take out one of the Fields of Strife to start with. I think I can survive with no Tempo Thefts considering... I mean, the deck doesn't revolve around the Arbalister. Like, the other guys are still strong too. You can use speeds and stuff with them. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and take out one... I want all three Kabonks. Actually, do we really need three real inspirations? For starting our creatures at turn four, I don't think we need we need three of them. Okay, let's try it like this. So this is gonna be our uh, our my latest build, and I'm just going to 
green one. You said it two minutes ago. Hopefully you're still waiting. No, I think you got in a match. Yeah. Okay, so anyone up for a match? I'm sure there will be somebody. I mean, we're all here to be testing, right? Do do do. Okay, um, I'm actually uh, the weekly winner here on the live server. Most wins of the week. This is pretty cool. This test server, of course. All right, yes, Gallipoli. I think I actually played him earlier today. <laughs> um, so good luck, have fun to him. I go first. But when I was playing this deck before, I was winning even when I, even when I started to go second. Um, I'll draw a new hand. Um, I mean, I'm pro this, I do have four drops. I want four drops, but. I'll draw a new hands fine. Eh. Sacrifice Bussy Paste. Okay, so actually I should probably should have sacrificed the Night Scholar because there's really no point in having that if I'm gonna go four, five, six. Okay, so looks like Galapoli's going with grave locks. Um I'm gonna sacrifice the general. Okay, so we didn't get a kabonk. Hopefully I can top back and infiltrate. Just I think that'd be cool. Um Skull Shrine. Okay, this is one of the new scrolls. That's pretty good. Earn energy is increased by two. Okay. He's gonna he's gonna start to do crazy stuff. Let's get out. Should I play the Escalon Spires? No. I was gonna say before I put stuff out, but I th that'd almost be wasting the Escalon Spires. Hopefully he goes for idols early on, but doesn't win, and I have a chance to build up some forces. Let's see. So he is like, he can go for a 5 cost creature here. Like, you can get an Elder so early. Ooh, long nose, that scares me. Okay, so, but I mean, actually yeah, it does scare me. Uh, let's go ahead and sacrifice folks. They're both at, um, they're both at two cantons. They could just come down and kill me, can't they? Either way, I'm going to put down a Relorus. I'm thinking about having only two Relorus in the deck because it is unique, and I do have other four drops in a uh, Knight Scholar and, and, uh, or is that my only four drop? I don't know. That's guys. All right, so he gets a guy in front. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and play the Storm Knight in front of you. I'm gonna stay down here like that because I want to lure him to not attack me and run up. Let's see if Galapoli does it. This ends in another turn, which is cool. But he's just, like you see, he's been able to amass a ton of board control. Um, they all have different heads: little head, big head, long nose, medium-sized head. Um, so next turn, I might have to go and play Escalon Spires. If, but if if I'm like being attacked, but uh, if I'm not, if he runs off, that'd be great, and I could just play Arbalester. We'll see. Um, I think, I do think that energy is, like, is, like, a problem for order. I think if there's any faction that gives order the most problems, like, like, almost like how, uh, oh, go oh god, no, 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 oh, boy. Another skull surround, okay. Um, that was really bad. Okay, but, I mean, actually, it's not totally bad. Yeah, it really isn't. Because at least it's not normal board control for him, and I have I could just put something up there, and he can't attack it anytime soon. But I am for vitals. I have to have a way of removing this guy who attacks every very so often. Dust runner. Um, let's see. Double ice gone spires. Uh. Let's just infiltrate you because I don't want you attacking to do a ton of vital damage. No, I'm not gonna play it. 
Maybe I should have. I have to learn the deck a little bit more. Hmm. So. I think Greylock's definitely a bad matchup for me. Definitely. He doesn't have an Elder out yet. Yeah, wow. Um. I sacrifice the Eye of Notation to Outlook. I'm gonna get this Imperial Resources going. Now I have more resources. I have double his resources, but he's able to do stuff. But, um. If he can't win soon, I can slowly claw my way back in. Uh. Hopefully, I can top deck a 4 drop, sacrifice resources, play Night Sergeant, and a 4 drop. Good luck, Guard. Wow, that's a lot of Grave Locks. Holy cow. Holy cow. This is round eight, and he has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight grave locks on the board. Um, hmm. Sacrifice field strike for cards. You know what? I'm going to Imperial Resources again. I know it sounds kind of weird, considering he can win the game soon, but I think that's my only chance coming out of this game is really ramping up like this. See, this is where Waking Stones would be good. Yeah, I think Waking Stones is coming in this deck. Maybe a Summons as well. I think I'm going to take out Fields of Strife. I just don't think you need it. Hmm. Then again, he did have a very good start. He had... Okay, now that basically seals the deal for his win, basically. Holy cow. Um, nothing I could do, really. And he took out a middle idol, so now it's hard for me to protect. Uh, okay, well... Let's just sacrifice the Knight Sergeant. I'll play a General and a Knight Scholar. Yeah, I'm kind of dead. Yeah, this deck needs Waking Stones badly. I mean, energy is Tick Bomb, but I mean, who's running Tick Bomb? Um, looks like we're going to lose, like... Very soon. Maybe this room, actually. Yeah, yeah, he actually has lethal. Just moving, moving his creatures. Um, seven plus three, ten idle down, and then six is the is the four plus the two. So he does a lethal right here. Um, can he do it with moving creatures, or is he too locked? No, he can do it. Yeah, he, he can he can move him around. Well, yeah. So that I don't know. I feel like I didn't have much of a chance that match. Well, he didn't really have to do that. Whatever. It's GG. Okay. Um, I'm, gonna do that. I'm not going to end the video here. I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to... Edit my deck a little bit. Alright, I'm going to add Waking Stones. And Summons. I, I, once we're at the times where we can actually play our creatures, I think we... I don't think we need the Royal Inspirations, to be honest. And I also don't think we need um, either Fields of Strife. 52 scrolls now. Do we need the Infiltrate? I think the Infiltrate is pretty decent. Uh, Kabonk. Focus. Let's get rid of the... Rillerus, we have only two four drops. Three five drops, two six drops. Um, let's go ahead and take away the Pothers. 
Okay, let's try this. Let's see if this is a little any better. Um, okay, uh... Someone challenge me for Okay. Let's see what this does. Three summons uh, might be a bit much. I don't know. I have fifty scrolls in the deck, right? I think I have fifty scrolls in the deck. Yeah. Alright, thanks, Nikon. Alright, so he goes first. Good luck, have fun. And I think this is a fine start on him. He's having infiltrate. Basically, I guess infiltrate is a good thing to have. So, check out the pothers. Okay, let's see how I can do. I think my last match I just had was the first loss I had with the deck, so. I may have been a bit quick. Quick to jump and. Quick to, like. Uh, go ahead and call it to change it. So, I don't know. But Waking Stones, I think, are going to be pretty good in the meta when Waypoints comes out. I don't know. Mr. Nikon. So, I don't know. Maybe he's testing out some undead stuff. Hopefully he's not uh, <laughs> playing uh, like decay energy with that uh, that scroll that uh, deals damage to all uh, enchanted creatures, three damage. But then, yeah, I kind of underestimated that card in my video on the test server. I said I, that scroll wasn't gonna be that good. I don't think. Oh man, he sacrificed. <laughs> okay, that's not good for me. He's yeah, wow. Um, I'm gonna get rid of the storm knight. I like the nice more. Uh, I like to keep all the other scrolls I have in. And, uh, yeah. With that combo, because curse, curse values are considered enchantments right now. At least when I'm recording this. So, you basically play a Bloodline Taint, especially on like an order board, and then that scroll and everything on that side of the board takes 5 damage. And I am pretty sure that's what's going on here. I'm not, not, not totally sure. I'm pretty sure. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the uh, Cup Monk. Okay, looks like we're both ramping up. We're both ramping up here. I don't have a play turn 4, which is a little bit unfortunate. Hopefully I can, like... Maybe... Okay. Um, I'm considering putting in Ducal Skirmishers. That might be a good idea. Advantageous Outlook. I may as well just infiltrate. And sacrifice the outlook. Okay, so let's see. Also, what that does with that uh, infiltrate is now I can put down a creature without um I guess I press the vanguard I can put down the creature without a big threat if like he can move down with this rod eater but I mean that doesn't immediately kill me I can get an arbalizer down next turn and an arbalizer with the countdown going down of this Knight Sergeant and two Blessing of Haste attacks. Yes, he does. So now the question is, do I want to put him in front or behind? Because basically... Okay. That might be a problem is I took out the Pothers. I did take out the Pothers. Um, I'm going to go ahead and sacrifice the Knight Sergeant. Arbalister B... Mind. I might need to top deck like a focus to really be able to destroy that Oculus Cannon. 
I'll have to see. So I could make the Arbalizer attack next turn. Two Blessing of Haste would make him attack. Uh, each Blessing of Haste would make him count down by two. And he has five countdowns, so that's four countdowns and the one extra from this guy. If he has a Damning Curse, that would hurt. So I don't know if this maybe this is like a uh, Decay Energy Bound Bar, but if he's playing Decay Energy right now in the test server, I assume he's, he's uh, using that that uh, Bloodline Team thing, because that thing is epic. Uh, I really hope uh, Mojang changes uh, Curse to effects, not... Uh... Okay, so... Okay. That means... I'm I'm actually pretty happy that happened. Uh Okay. Oh so now I can double blessing of haste. I can double blessing of haste and destroy this Oculus Cannon. Let's see if I can draw a focus or something, that'd be really good. Advantageous Outlook and Blessing of Haste do the do the job. So let's sacrifice the Blessing of Haste. Um, I like what I just. All right, yeah, this is good. I'll do a Blessing of Haste and an Escalon Spires. So what that's going to do? So three and then. Or do I want to use the charge code to destroy the blessing, the infectious blight? You know what? Let's do that. Let's do that. Um. Yeah, I don't mind doing that. Destroys the infectious blight, and I get my night sergeant back. Sounds good to me. Uh, yeah, you're gonna die anyway, so may as well destroy the infectious blight. But then again, I didn't get to, I could have destroyed the Oculus Cannon. Okay, you get languided, meh. Whatever. Uh, next turn, I think, is the turn they want to get board advantage. Or, Imperial wouldn't be too bad. He gets a, he gets a cannon to Okay, well, I get another one of those guys. Right there. I think that might be a bug where, um... I'm just gonna go ahead and Imperial Resources. Okay, I'm going to... Sacrifice the Knight Scholar and Imperial. Okay, and you, you're close to attacking. I think that might be a bug where Escalon Spires makes the, uh, Knight respawn on the same tile with like a one countdown. It's kind of like Sea of Insurgency. It might be a little too strong right now. It's, I put it might be a bug that is too strong right now. I think it's just supposed to uh, be resummoned with, the, it should have been resummoned with the two countdown. Not, okay, so that. Okay, so he's fighting hard for this lane. He wants to keep this Oculus Cannon. And now I can make both of these guys countdown. Let's see if hit. Blessing of Haste would advantageous outlook would probably give me a crimson bull and that'd be five and then six with a focus. Let's do it. Let's do advantageous outlook. Let's we'll see if there's a focus here. No focus. Oh no! Not even. There's no. Not even a spell. Oh, it's pretty bad. I needed a spell at least. Um, ah, it sucks. That really sucks. Now I just wish I had Imperial resourced. Let's go ahead and choose the Yol Arbalister though. And I'm just going to sacrifice the Blessing of Haste and play Arbalister. Um, I don't see the point in moving into the attack lane. Put him, put him here. Uh, yeah, if I drew, uh, if I drew, 
Wait a minute. Oh yeah, well. Yeah. I, I just I really needed to be able to pick a spell there. It's a pretty high chance I was gonna be able to get a spell though. A lot of spells in the deck. Let's pay speed, focus, kabon, infiltrate, all that stuff is spells. Sucks it didn't work out though. It's okay, I should be able to do some a nice thing this coming turn. Unless he completely obliterates me. Which is possible because he's five scrolls and six total resources, but I don't think he's gonna obliterate me this turn. Oculus Cannon, he can't bombard this turn. Harvester, hmm. Okay. Let's see. A need focus. Let's go ahead and sacrifice the Night Sergeant. Summons, spires. Let's see. So, a speed focus on the bottom guy would be seven, which would do three to the thing behind it, which is not that much. Um, okay, I'm not gonna move. You might have bombards in there, but that would be kind of annoying. I think I'm just going to, you know what, summons, I can actually, let's see if Imperial Resources and then Focus, Imperial Resources, and then Focus one of them, uh, focusing you would give you nine, that's four, and then Four plus yeah that that works yeah that works okay and you can stay down there so I can destroy that at least that was I didn't even see that see this is the cool things you do with the new the new late game order like I, I didn't see I, I should have noticed I had two one cost spells so I compare it with an imperial and I ramped up and I destroyed his biggest threats I mean Anakia's kind of in the front of the row is not a huge deal. Uh, let's see. And we destroyed an idol too. So there's an infectious blight on him. Now we just want to get more stuff on the board. I'm not going to play the Escalon Spire system, probably. Um, I'm going to go ahead and s keep the... I'm going to sacrifice the Waking Stones. I don't think this is a match where I'm going to probably want them. Uh, Arbalister... And Relorus, I think, is what I want to do here. So let's go with a Relorus and an Arbalester in front. I, kind of, I know the Arbalester is important, so you don't want to have them too close to the front all the time. But, uh, yeah. I do wish... Maybe I should have gone with, like, speed plays and stuff to destroy that stuff on the board. But, I don't know. And I also could have gotten these guys next to this guy. So I don't know. I'm not making the best plays. It's a hard. I think Mono War is gonna be a really hard deck to play. There's so many different things. Every little factor. Cool little late game deck. Okay, so let's see. Ow. Okay. Um, that hurt. Uh, actually, I'm not sure if I can play that. I think I have to go outside with my little sister and my dog. Um. <laughs> All right, uh, so let's see what I can do here. Uh, I think I'm going to general speed. I'll just general speed. I mean, why not, right? Okay, cool. Well, I can summons. Or well, we're gonna go summons. And 
Escalon Spires. And then I'm going to, uh... But does that, that doesn't kill you, does it? <laughs> Crap. I messed that up a little bit then. And then I will go with a... Ah, oh, crap. Just speed you then. Meh. I messed that up then. It wasn't the best turn I could have had there. And it's, I, I didn't win the game yet. It's very. I'm not playing that well. Not Escalon Spires. Escalon Spires is pretty darn good. Okay. So. Like I said, I don't think we really need a waking stones right now. Okay, seven scrolls. Not that much resources though. Bombard me? No, we can't even bombard this turn. Interesting. I don't have speed though, it's kinda of annoying. I don't have any CDR. I mean spells for the Arblisters. Okay, he's good fell with board. I think this is a turn where I just fell with the board as well. Um I'm gonna go ahead and play. Is it possible I can play three creatures? No, I don't think so. I'll play. Uh, sacrifice the waking zones for scrolls. I think I'm going to go for a vanguard and a lord knight. And you can go there. I don't care about you. I want you to count down as many guys as you can hopefully it doesn't have like like a um stuff to like destroy me he's like a bombard machinated i might cry let's just put you back here all right he surrendered okay uh yeah, I guess he didn't have, like... Interesting deck he was playing. We didn't really get to see my changes in action that match. Like, I wasn't able to play Awakening Stones or anything. I think it was good. Actually, the extra the one extra one cost spell actually helped because I was able to use the summons to get the Arbalizer to attack that time. So, yeah. But it didn't seem like we are ever, like, with our backs against the wall that match. We are always, I think, a step ahead. So that's cool. I do like this deck a lot. It's very, it's very late game, like... No creatures, no unit besides two turn four units is like a big time to be waiting around. So that's why the Kabox and Infiltrates are in there, but they're really not that great on their own. But yeah, I think uh, it could be pretty fun. I think I'll definitely be playing this in Greybox when live comes out. But um, that'll be it for today. Got two matches in. Hope you guys like that video. So if you like the video, of course, click the like button below. It really helps me out. I appreciate it. I also appreciate it if you subscribe for more Scrolls videos. And uh, keep on playing Scrolls. Submit your top plays to me um, for top plays of the week. And top plays of the week is this Friday. So make sure you check that out. That'll be all for today. And I will see you all next time.